ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SNME Inferno. Yes, you join me live from East Rutherford, New Jersey, and we got a huge crowd and an even bigger show as Adrian Neville returns to SNME. Yes, the last time we saw the man that defies gravity, he was being kicked into orbit by Prince Pretty. Mm, gorgeous Tyler Breeze at SNME Royal Rumble. Adrian Neville is back in action and he'll be looking to try and make an impact here tonight and he's got a great opportunity because he is facing the man of the moment after last week's SNME everybody has been asking the question why will we find out tonight have you worked out who is Neville's opponent but well, you're about to find out Because yes, Adrian Neville's opponent is Finn Balor, the leader of the Balor Club and the Balor Club struck this past week on SNME Saturday night main event when they attacked the current SNME World Heavyweight Champion in Daniel Bryan and we're still asking ourselves myself you the SNME universe everybody wants to know why Finn why was it to aid the Wyatt family we just don't know Finn Balor and the Balor Club have been tight-lipped all week and Balor has shown no remorse for that attack. We all thought when he came out on SNME this past week, he was coming out to congratulate Daniel Bryan, to endorse Daniel Bryan heading in to SNME WrestleMania, but Bala had a plan and his plan was to attack the SNME World Heavyweight Champion and we still have no reason why. And the trouble is, I have been scratching my head all week trying to work out why. And I still can't come up with an answer. I mean, I mentioned Finn trying to aid Bray Wyatt, but why? We all know the history between Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt. That chapter for me was closed at SNME Fastlane. Finn coming up short, so why on earth He'd want to help Bray Wyatt. I do not know. It can't be that. As the referee signals for the bell to get this match underway. This new attitude of Finn Balor tying up with Neville. And Balor with a punch to the back. And another one. Aggressive start from Finn Balor. As Balor releases Neville and follows up with a huge forearm. And that knocks Neville down to the mat. And the crowd... Letting it be known again that they do not agree with Finn Balor and this new attitude at the moment. But look at Balor again, sheer aggression. Is this what Gallows and Anderson have installed in Finn Balor? I don't know. But Neville fighting his way to his feet. And now the elbows to the midsection of Finn Balor. And a beautiful Hurricane Rana from Neville. You cannot underestimate the man that defies gravity. Adrian Neville has one of the most unorthodox ring styles. Very high flying, very fast paced and an early pinfall. And just a one count. You saw it there, exactly what I'm talking about. And of course, Neville has that red arrow. And if he hits that tonight, it could be game over for Finn Balor. Balor tying up Neville, trying to get back in control and a kick to the chest, a stiff kick. 
and follows it up with a stomp to the midsection and a drop kick to the back of the head. Educated feet from Finn Balor. Balor again ties up and now it's Finn with a pinfall. One, just the one count. And Balor picking up Neville and bringing him over towards the SNME universe and they're letting it be known that they disapprove of this new attitude of Finn Balor. And I disapprove as well. I was disgusted by his attitude at the end of SNME last week. It was a disgrace. As Neville on the second rope, again showing true athleticism, taking Finn Balor down to the mat and not giving Finn Balor an opportunity to get to his feet, working on the leg, working on the arm. Neville trying to pick apart Balor and Balor fights back. Here comes Finn. And Finn again with another stiff kick to the back of Adrian Neville. As Bala sends Neville to the corner, chop to the chest. Here comes Finn and a huge drop kick to the skull of Adrian Neville and Bala taunting the SNME universe. And that allowed Neville to recover. Hurricane Rana won. Two, oh, how close was that? Here comes Neville, drop kick to the knee. Takes Finn Balor back down. And Neville trying to quickly keep the offense going, but Finn Balor fights back and uh-oh, uh-oh, oh my. Finn Balor may have knocked the teeth out of Adrian Neville with that maneuver. Balor again getting aggressive elbows to the back of the head punches to the face but Neville now going toe to toe with him spins him around inverted Frankensteiner the pinfall from Neville one two no that's gotta be a 2.9 and Bala is groggy. He's getting to his feet, but he's out on his feet. And Neville nails the drop kick from the second rope. Finn Bala is in all kinds of trouble at the moment. And Neville is not letting up. 360 over the top rope goes Finn Bala. Here comes Adrian Neville. Oh my! Flying through the air. Unbelievable. Neville quickly sending Bala back into the ring. Maybe looking to capitalize on that high risk maneuver that did pay off. Pinfall. Yes, he does. One, two. Oh, so close. Adrian Neville is knocking on the door. How much more resiliency does Finn Balor have left? Neville taking up Finn Balor to the top rope. What's he looking for here? A reversal from Finn. Finn. Oh, Finn with a hurricane runner. He's got him. One, two. Oh. Goodness me. If you blink, you will miss some of the action. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what SNME Inferno is all about. The best matches around. And we're seeing one right now. As Finn Balor looks to try and slow down Adrian Neville. That's a smart maneuver because Neville was going through the gears all right. As Balor picks up Neville, ties him up. Kick to the leg. Oh my. How many more kicks to the head, to the skull, can Adrian Neville take? 
as Bala sends Neville off the rope and a sling blade. And I asked the question, how much more could he take? Maybe not much. Neville gets spun around. Bala possibly looking for the reverse 1916, but Neville countered it. And again, the inverted Frankensteiner. And now Neville scales the ropes. Oh my, could it be Red Arrow? He's missed it. Neville has missed it. And that has left an opening for Finn Balor. And here comes Finn with a bullet in the chest. Finn Balor was on the verge of being defeated and he has escaped. Oh man, Neville crashed and burned and now Balor heading to the top rope. He's looking for his finishing maneuver, the coup de grace. That'll do it. The pinfall imminent. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? Bala picking up Neville off the coup de grace. No, oh my, 1916. One, two, three. My God. Well, SNM Universe, you see how this one unfolded, but I've never seen Finn Balor pick up his opponent after the coup de grace. Usually he would go for the pin, but this attitude, this aggression of Finn Balor almost made me think that the 1916 was sending a message once again. Very strange. And again, leads me to think, scratch my head once again, asking more questions of why Finn is behaving in this manner. You see, this was the moment where I thought it was game over for Finn Balor. The reverse Frankensteiner, pinfall, one, two, but Bala, shoulder up, and then this, well, after a coup de grace, the 1916 dropping Adrian Neville on his skull again, one, two, three. Finn Balor victorious here tonight and I think he's he's signaling for a mic. Oh my god, are we going to get answers? He's looking at, he is. Finn Balor is asking Lillian Garcia for a mic. We may get our answer here tonight from Finn Balor. Oh my God, Daniel Bryan is here? Yes, yes, yes. Well, now we know Finn Balor wants to win the SNME World Heavyweight Championship at Roadblock and go on and headline on the grandest stage of them all, our biggest event in SNME history, SNME WrestleMania. Finn Balor wants to throw a spanner in the works for our main event. And Daniel Bryan, will he accept the challenge?
Wow. We are witnessing... Oh, well, I was about to say we are witnessing history being made here once again. But the chaos has now unfolded. Finn Balor trying to get a cheap shot on Daniel Bryan. But Daniel Bryan is having none of it. Daniel Bryan fighting back. Finn Balor now fights back as well. Oh my, Daniel, no! Pele kick from Finn Balor. And now Balor cinches it in. 19-16 to Daniel Bryan. And Finn Balor has sent a message to Daniel Bryan that he is the roadblock on the road to WrestleMania.